God ordains everything. First lesson, Matthew chapter 20 verse 21, And he said unto her, What would thou? She said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand, and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. Second lesson, Romans chapter 8 verse 30, Moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Golden text, John chapter 6 verse 65, And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given him of my Father. No man can come unto me except the Father gives him the ability. Our struggles, fights, plans and pleas are out of ignorance. God does not make mistakes and perfect everything before he brings it into physical manifestation. This kingdom had already been prepared for those it was destined for. If it were based on works then grace would be of no avail. If it were based on academic knowledge then the land would have inherited it. It was prophesied that the first would serve the second and so his will manifest as arranged by him. People often ask why certain things happen to certain people or for certain people. The truth is that God does not look at faces otherwise our Lord Jesus Christ would not have been born in Bethlehem. But everything about him had been prophesied including where he would be born. The people of Israel wanted a king and God gave them so, but this did not prevent the will of God because anything not from God cannot stand the test of time. Saul did not rule for long. He was overthrown in battle and he and his sons were later killed. Jesse was promised kingship but none of his children was found worthy. Prophet Samuel asked Jesse if he had other children and he said the only remaining one was the small boy David. When David was called, Prophet Samuel was caught by the Spirit and declared David the king of Israel. Everything started with Jacob when he gathered his twelve children to tell them what would happen to them. He told Judah that kingship would never depart from him. David and Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah. What surprised people was that no one from that tribe had ever served as a priest. That was why people rejected Jesus Christ and said that he was of the devil. Aaron and Moses descended from the Levitical household, the house of priests. God looks at the innermost part of things. God did not know you today or only 1,000 years ago. He knew you before the foundations of the world and before he created man he had arranged everything in perfect order. We all come from different tribes. If you do not come from the tribe of Judah you can never be king. If you know this you will not envy anyone or worry yourselves. It is not he who wills or he who runs the race but God who shows mercy. The big people in the time of Jesus Christ prepared their homes for the king but he was born unto a carpenter in a manger in a village called Bethlehem. If we were to know ourselves we would not tamper with anything arranged by God. It was the realization of this fact that made our Lord Jesus Christ not look for the kingship of man or the world. It was for the same reason that Gamaliel warned the Jews not to tamper with the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ lest they be found to be fighting against God. If your marriage or child or wisdom or job or wealth or government or anything does not come from God it will not last. Our Lord Jesus Christ said that all those that came before him were thieves and robbers. Have you not seen that all sorts of people came before him and that nothing they did stood the test of time? What has manifested now is the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had which Daniel interpreted for him. Do not be surprised that all the government institutions and worldly churches have fallen. It is not the will of man but what God had arranged before the foundation of the world. If you know this then why do you worry, why do you frown or grumble? If things work for you for some time and stop, why do you worry? When the Jews were asked whom they wanted they preferred Barabbas to be released to them but today whose name are you hearing? Who else have you heard that died and after his resurrection he is adored everywhere? If you are a traditional ruler or king, the day you die your kingship or title vanishes. If you are destined for kingship nobody can take it from you. You do not need to struggle for anything because those who are destined to rule will be enthroned at the fullness of time. Different nationalities from time had struggled to take this rulership, Romans, Egyptians, 
Greeks and Britons, but they failed because before the foundations of the world, God had already selected those who would rule. If God had not arranged everything properly, you would not have had a share in this kingdom. The whites, especially the Americans, had prepared for the second coming of Christ. But if his coming was predicated on civilization, wisdom, knowledge or technological development, do you think that he would have come to Africa? But you have heard that Ethiopia will rise again. The blacks have no love and wisdom and they are not righteous, so how would Ethiopia rise again? The Pope has never been a black man, it was the white man who brought Christianity to the African continent. All the church headquarters and the headquarters of all the secret societies are overseas in the white man's country, then how will Ethiopia rise? When you say that something is from Africa, it is looked down on, but if it is from the white man's country, it is hailed. You look at the outside, but God looks at the inside of things. What you see unfolding is what God had ordained before he created man. No man's advice or complaint or plea or struggling is taken into consideration. He has already selected those he will enthrone and glorify and they are only awaiting revelation. First lesson, Matthew chapter 20 verse 21, And he said unto her, What would thou? She said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand, and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. Have you not heard what our Lord told the mother of James and John who went to him with her flippancy? Have you not heard the promises of the worldly churches that if special masses are offered for the dead they would go to heaven? Their relations pay huge sums of money for high mass and go home believing that their dead are in heaven. Only Jesus Christ can lead you to heaven, nobody else can. Who else can promise you heaven then? The Jews say that they do not know our Lord Jesus Christ and the scribes say that he is a thief but God has proclaimed him the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Those who claim that they do not know him have paled into nothingness, as he is the one ruling the world today. The Hindus, Muslims and Buddhists say they do not know him but because the Father knows him, he is known everywhere. His kingship is not open for election. He had been ordained king before the foundations of the world were laid. That is why he said what he said to the mother of the two sons of Zebedee because he already knew those to rule with him. Those of the earth are earthy and those of heaven are heavenly. Envy and jealousy cannot prevent his will from manifesting. Those he calls he justifies and glorifies. Recall the discussion he had with the two thieves on the cross. He said, Today you shall be with me in paradise. If he did not come from heaven, how could he have made such a statement? You that condemn thieves, have you not heard that that one thief entered paradise? If you now decide to steal so that you may enter, have you not heard that the other thief did not enter? It is not in this world that you are selected or blessed but in heaven. I am full of pity for you because you rely on man and even bribe to be elected to positions. If the world elects you and God does not, you are done for but if nobody votes for you and God votes for you, you are the winner. Who shall go and save the world? Heaven and earth were silent. Only he, Christ the King, volunteered. John asked who was worthy to open the book and lose the seals. John said he wept because there was none worthy to open the book and look thereon. Why was no other person, why could no other person open and read from the book? Do you think he will suffer and die and some other person will open the book? Let us hear the second lesson. Second lesson. Romans chapter 8 verse 30, Moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. There was no other worthy person to come. He was not the most educated or the wisest but it had already been ordained that he would take the glory which he had with the Father before the foundation of the world. You claim to know the Father and Mother, do you know how he came? No one can take whatever glory is kept for you and you cannot be compelled to give it up. There are people in different parts of the world that have a share in this glory. Do you know that some of you were whites, Indian, Europeans before? When you are asked your age or origin you say you are 20 years or 60 years old or that you come from one place or another. The truth is that nobody knows his or her time of birth or age. 
Refraining from sin cannot gain you this kingdom if your name is not written. People sometimes wonder what the highest position is. The highest position is that which God has kept from the beginning of the world. The Brotherhood of the Cross and Star the World and the government say they recognize only Roman Catholics, Protestants and Muslims. Does God know or recognize them? I want to tell you that even before God said, let us create man. The Brotherhood of the Cross and Star existed. The word says that the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star was founded not long ago and that we drink blood and kill people and cause accidents. The Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is the kingdom of God consisting of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, the angels and saints brought down on earth. The Brotherhood of the Cross and Star has no beginning and no end. As it was in the beginning, so it is now and ever shall be world without end. This kingdom has been brought down as prepared and ordained by the Father. When people say they want to reveal the origin of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, I close my eyes and ears because I know they are talking about what they do not know. All of you talk about what you see on the outside. Golden text, John chapter 6 verse 65, and he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given him of my Father. This is the hidden wisdom in this kingdom. Many people desire to serve God, but if God does not give you the ability, how can you serve Him? Do not doubt whatever you see here in the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. It is the work of God. He that hath ears let him hear, and may God bless His holy word. Amen.